Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at the next question here from Zap Twenty Twenty One. This question here says that uh, one third of the buses from city A to city B stop at city C, while the rest go non-stop to city B. Ah, uh, so one third of the passengers in the buses stopping at city C continue to city B, while the rest alight at city C. All the buses have equal capacity and always start full from city A. Okay, so now what they are telling that uh, like. Uh, you have to go from A to B via C. So let's say I'm going from A to B via C. Correct. Now uh, there are uh, I don't know number of buses here, but actually you understand that in the end they are asking what proportion of the passengers. That means this has to be a pure fraction. Okay, if you look at the options in this in this question, the options were like one by nine, one by seven, and uh, it was like two by seven, two by nine like that. Okay, so. If you that means uh, there's no use of uh, uh, taking any variables because everything will be cancelled out. So if they are talking about one third of the buses, so I can assume that let's say there are only three buses here. Why why I'll assume three buses because uh, it's one third always will be an integer, hai na? So that's why I assume three buses, a multiple of three. I can assume three also, thirty also, six also. So assume easy numbers, right? Let's say I, I'll I take I take up three. If there are three buses and all of the buses have equal capacity. Fine, and it's at a, again retain one third of the passengers. So again, assume some uh, passenger in multiples of three. So let's assume that each bus has got three passengers. I can assume that very easy, है ना? Now what they're saying that one third of the uh, one third of the buses from city A to city B is stop at city C. That means out of three buses, one third is only one. Okay, that means let only one bus ah uh, uh, stop at city C. So this one bus will stop at city C, and rest will directly go to city B. The rest will directly go to city B. Okay. Okay. Now one third of the passengers in the buses stopping at city C. So in my case, I would consider only B three stopping at city C. It's one third of the passenger. That means out of three, one third is one. That means one person. Okay. Uh, continue to city B. While the rest alighted city C, that means a one person continued to city B, while the rest alighted to city C. That means two persons stopped at city C only. Okay, now that means uh, three persons from B one came directly to city B, three persons from B two came directly to city B, and uh, one person from B three came to city B. So they are asking that what proportion of the passengers going to city B from city A, and uh, they are going from city B to city A. That means total seven persons are going from city B to city A, so total seven, correct. And travel by a bus stopping at city C. So out of these seven people, how many persons have travelled by that bus which is stopping at city C? So only one person. Can I say my answer is one by seven? That's the answer. Again, an easy question, right? Not again say easy to medium level question, right? But that's a problem in exam situation. No, these kind of questions actually cannot find. Well, that is a kind of exam. If we have got twenty, suppose let's say there are twenty-eight questions of quant. Okay, now for example, let's assume that there are some eight questions of DI or nine questions of DI that can fluctuate, and let's say there are twenty questions of quant. So out of twenty questions in quant, ten are ten questions out of around fifty percent are kind of easy to moderate category. But that's what people are not able to find in the paper. The last year that both of them came and I know, so both of them who gave question, they got they told that sir, this question did not appear in the paper. Where was it? Because in those big lengthy questions, they 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 got lost in the paper. Okay, and in that it's like now you can actually switch the sections. There's no sectional time limit. So, बिल्कुल ना माइंड इज ऑलवेज लाइक आपका माइंड ना रन करते रहता है ओके लेट्स गो ये कौन टे ठीक जा रहा है थोड़ा आगे वर्बल देख लेते हैं थोड़ा आगे डीएम देख लेते हैं लाइक दैट राइट सो दैट्स व्हाई इट्स वेरी इजी टू गेट लॉस्ट इन द पेपर सो इफ यू कंसंट्रेट रियली वेल इन फॉर एक्सेल राइट द कट ऑफ इज हार्डली 8 प्लस क्वेश्चन 30 परसेंट इज ऑलवेज द कट ऑफ सो आउट ऑफ 28 क्वेश्चंस इजीली वन सेट ऑफ डीआई यू कैन डू एंड 10 टू 11 क्वेश्चंस ऑफ कौन यू कैन डू ओके सो दैट मींस इजीली यू कैन टेक अप 13 14 क्वेश्चंस बट दैट द थिंग इज Though your concentration only should be on those thirteen, fourteen questions. Okay, if you concentrate on twenty-eight questions, you are going to get lost in the paper. So if you spend forty, forty-five minutes on only those thirteen, fourteen questions, which you are able to do that, 
you try to maximize this uh, this skill okay looking at only the correct questions which are which are your comfort zone question then you will be able to score very well in that okay but that's how it is okay so we'll be seeing there are such next questions if, in this series you have seen that huh? we are solving questions or uh, which are actually they, which can be solved in that without much effort right with pure common sense and right? that's what i'm showing in this in this in this uh, series actually okay chalo thank you we'll continue the next question uh, next question